Good morning, oil traders. It is 9.05 a.m. here on the East Coast of North America. It's August 17th, Thursday, the day after news day. And it's still looking pretty bearish. As you can see, we had the nice drop yesterday following the news that was actually bullish. So go figure. Um, but uh, we're still, at least for now, it looks like we're heading lower, maybe 246. Um, as you know, I did buy a long position yesterday at 46.75. So if we do end up climbing uh, back towards 48, I'll be looking to exit that long position, of course, and ultimately buying it again if we drop after that. Um, but that's uh, I'm happy to hold that uh, longer term if we do continue to drop. Now, of course, I do have my 47.20 short. So if we go over to my portfolio here, my next short position is this one here. Uh, it's uh, 20, well, I guess just over three weeks old now. Uh, I've been waiting to get out of it. Uh, it was at uh, one and a third percent in the money at close yesterday. So if we open where we are right now at uh, you know close to 46 and a half, it'll be a little bit better than that, probably above 2% um, on that position, which of course is um, within my kind of rules of good enough to exit, uh, but I won't be exiting that position at the open. I will be waiting at least until uh, Europe, Europe uh, markets close at 11.30 a.m. Uh, before making a decision. Uh, and it really depends on how far we fall or if we do climb, how far we climb. Um, and what, what I will do. If we do climb, of course, I'm not going to be selling that short position. I'm happy to hang on to it for a while. Uh, if we do fall, I'm going to be looking at uh, I'm going to be looking at uh, adding to my long positions. Uh, and if we do fall below 46, I may look to exit uh, more than one short position. It sort of depends on how far we do move today, um, if at all. Um, but like I said, my short position from 4720 is already in the money, so I don't need much more to make that justifiable sell. Uh, but we'll see. Now it isn't Newsday; it's Thursday. Um, you know, Thursdays are kind of the lull. Um, Wednesday we have EAI news. On Friday we've got Baker Hughes uh, rig counts, which you know do little, if anything. Uh, but nonetheless, Thursdays typically can be a little bit boring, but that doesn't mean that today will be boring. So trade scared. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that's my plan. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind. Hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of close um, towards uh, 4 p.m. Eastern here on the East Coast. Until then, good luck. Cheers.